number of government agencies impacted by a suspected Russian cyber attack is growing. A new analysis by Microsoft shows the breach is international, with at least seven countries affected, including Canada and Israel. But 80% of the accounts affected were in the U.S. So what's so scary about it is we could wait to see any decision from the hackers, appear to be the Russians, on what they choose to do with those networks. The Departments of Commerce, Treasury, Homeland Security and State, even the National Institutes of Health have been compromised. And now ABC News confirms the Energy Department's Nuclear Security Agency, which oversees the nuclear weapons stockpile, has been breached. According to the department, the hack impacted non-classified systems and not those involving national security functions. But intelligence officials acknowledge the hack, quote, poses a grave risk to federal and local governments as well as critical infrastructure. What I'm really worried about is what they might do beyond spying to mess with our public and its trust of its institutions. Sources say the breach allowed Russians to view emails of U.S. officials apparently going undetected for nearly six months. The White House has not issued a response to the attack. Senator Mitt Romney calls that silence stunning. A cyber hack of this nature is really the modern equivalent of uh, almost of Russian bombers um, reportedly flying undetected over the entire country. And they didn't drop bombs, but they, they had the capacity to show that our, our defense is extraordinarily inadequate. Investigators say it'll take weeks, maybe even months, to determine the cyber attack's overall impact.